Good morning, children. Welcome to First Steps Sunday School this morning. It's good to see you here again, and I am um, hoping that you've had a good week. We're going to sing our hello song, so join in, please. Um, you know the children's names by now. Here we go. We're going to start with Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Nathan. It's good to see you here. Hello, Jude. Hello, Jude. Hello, Jude. It's good to see you here. Hello, Izzy. Hello, Izzy. Hello, Izzy. It's good to see you here. Hello, Violet. Hello, Violet. Hello, Violet. It's good to see you here. Hello, Fletcher. Hello, Fletcher. Hello, Fletcher. It's good to see you here. Hello, Logan. Hello, Logan. Hello, Logan. It's good to see you here. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Nikki. Hello, Nikki. It's good to see you here. Hello, Isaiah. Hello, Isaiah. Hello, Isaiah. It's good to see you here. Hello, Portia. Hello, Portia. Hello, Portia. It's good to see you here. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Nathan. Hello, Nathan. It's good to see you here. And I know there are two other little girls watching this, so we're going to say hello to them this morning. Just this once. Here we go. It's Caris and Kathy. Hello, Caris and Kathy. Hello, Caris and Kathy. Hello, Caris and Kathy. It's good to see you here. I hope everything has gone well this week, that you've had a good week, that you've enjoyed going out in the sunshine and that you've been doing some really good things at home. Now, I'm hoping you received your surprise packages by now um, that will remind you of the stories that we're telling um, at the moment. Now, last week we had the story of the lady who lost her special coin. Do you remember? Oh my goodness. She was very upset and she had to search and search until she found it. Now this week, we've got another story about something that got lost. I'm gonna give you a clue. See if you can tell me who you think the story might be about. I'm gonna get dressed up for this one, guys, so bear with me while I do this. Special hat going on here. Oh, I'm not very good at this sort of thing. Oh, that's better. Right, Ooh, not very good, but never mind. We'll make it work. Here we go, that's better. So, any clues yet? If you haven't guessed yet, I can help you with one more clue. Here goes. Bah, bah. Yes, you guessed it. This week's story is one that Jesus told about a shepherd. Now, this shepherd had 99, no, he didn't, he didn't have 99, he had 100 sheep. That's a lot of sheep. And every day, this shepherd would take his hundred sheep out to the fields so they could eat the grass and get fat. Now, the shepherd was very careful when he looked after his sheep and every day he took them out and every day he would count them as he went. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not gonna go up to a hundred because it would take too long. But we can start say 97, 98, 99, 100. And every day he would count his sheep as they went out. And when they'd been eating grass all day long and it was time to go home, he would count them again to make sure that he had them all. Now, the shepherd decided he was going to take his sheep out one day. And so he counted them all out. One, two, three, four, five, six, 97, 98, 99, 100. And he took the 100 sheep out to the field so they could eat the grass. They were munching and chewing grass all day. And as the sun began to go down, 
the shepherd knew it was time to take the sheep back home. And so he gathered them up and then he began to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 97, 98, 99, oh, 99. He scratched his head and he thought, I'd better count them again, just in case I made a mistake. So he counted again. One, two, three, four, 97, 98, 99, only 99. One of his sheep was missing. Now the shepherd could have taken 99 sheep home and not worried about going and finding the, the little sheep that was lost. But because he cared so much for the sheep, he decided he was going to leave the 99 sheep all together and he was going to go and look for this poor little sheep that was lost. And so off he went. He searched over the fields, he looked behind rocks, he walked for hours and hours and eventually in the distance he heard a little sound. Can you guess what it was? It was the sheep. He was going, bah, bah, bah. The poor sheep had got himself caught in a bush and the shepherd, after looking and looking and looking, found his little sheep and he untangled him from the bush and he picked him up and he put him on his shoulders and he carried him home to the other sheep. And when he got home, he did his counting again. One, two, three, four, five, six, 97, 98, 99, 100. And all the sheep were there. Now Jesus told this story and next week, we're gonna have another story that Jesus tells, not about a lost coin, not about a lost sheep, but about a lost son. And after that, I'm gonna explain why Jesus told those stories. Now, we're gonna have a song. I'm gonna take my hat off now because I'm getting a bit hot here in the sunshine with my hat on. We are going to sing, my God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that he cannot do. And we're gonna sing it twice, okay guys? Here goes. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his, the stars are his handiwork too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing that he cannot do. Well done, I hope you joined in with the singing because it doesn't sound so good when it's just me singing on my own. Now we're gonna finish with a prayer. So we're gonna put our hands together and we're gonna to talk to Jesus. Close your eyes. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for the story of the lost sheep and the lost coin. We thank you that the lady and the shepherd searched and searched until they found what was lost. And we're looking forward to next week's story. We pray you would keep us safe this week and look after us and our families. In Jesus' name, Amen. And I will see you next week, guys. So take care. Don't forget to play the games. Uh, with the little toys and things that I've sent you in your packages. You take care and I'll see you next time. God bless.